Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a project to share with you today. We are reading this book called Rivers and Oceans by Barbara Taylor by Kingfisher Publications and we are going to be doing this water cycle closed system project today as part of our sea turtle unit study. So I've got an empty glass bottle as well as a couple of supplies from another kit that I had and I thought that these would be suitable supplies in order to make this closed system. So I've got some of these rocks here that are, that are intended for hydroponic plants, as well as some plant food that I thought might be a good idea considering that we're not going to be having other forms of nutrients in this closed system. I also have some seeds here that I thought would grow pretty well, but we did run into some trouble and we're going to have to reseed this later on. Okay, so now it's time for us to add our soil pellets, but first we, uh, well, first they don't fit, but next we gotta figure out uh, how to actually position our jar because we're gonna do this two ways and I'm gonna show you both ways at the end of this video. So we just rehydrated those soil pellets and now we are just going to shake this down so that we can lie this flat on its side the way that the book shows the way they did their project, but we're gonna end up doing it two ways because once our seeds start to grow, I realized that it might have been better to have it upright so that it would have more space. We're gonna tape two straws together so that we can get that soil to the back of the jar and that way we can lay it out evenly. We weren't super careful and all of the little bits of dirt that got up on the top of the jar stayed there the whole time, making it a little bit hard for us to see the plants as they grew. So when you're doing this, do be careful. Next, we added our nutrient-rich water, too much in fact, and I thought I'd leave it outside to let some of that water evaporate, and that wasn't a good idea because it overheated and none of our seedlings sprouted. So a couple of days later, we took it inside and we reseeded it with the same seeds as well as other ones, and we did leave the cap off, but we did try to drain as much water out as possible. A few days later, you can see that the sprouts are coming up. They're doing really well. We left this project indoors after that so that they wouldn't overheat because being in the glass jar, there just wasn't enough space for that heat to escape. So about a week and a half to two weeks later, you can see that our sprouts are doing amazing. They're growing really tall and they just don't have enough room. So we went ahead and we did this project again and we had the soil at the bottom of the jar and you can see that these sprouts are growing nice and tall. This one we added less water to it so we went ahead and capped it. Now overall I feel like this project is going to take several weeks so that you can really see the water recycle. It's a full water cycle. So if you want to see some of the other projects that we're doing with our science unit studies you can tap on the screen. If you want to see the progress of this project, don't forget you can find more pictures at my website at pepperandpine.com. And if you want to see how our homeschool is progressing on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at pepperandpine.